I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. We all feel it. We're living in very troubled times, troubling racially, troubling economically. These are troubling times for government, troubling times for economics, troubling medically with the virus. I don't think I've ever seen such turmoil in the nation since at least 9-11, almost 20 years ago. But be of good cheer. You are baptized. You are Christ's. Christ is yours. And he promises that for you, all things work together for good. It remains the vocation of Christians, indeed, to participate, to be good citizens, to follow the laws, to avoid insurrection and unlawful behavior. That's evident. It's also a special vocation of Christians to pray. St. Paul directs us to prayer especially in the book of Philippians, and he ties it together with thanksgiving and joy. Paul visited them about three times, and he wrote to them in the year 61 or 62 during the reign of Nero. It was a colony of Roman soldiers. Rejoice in the Lord always. Who but Christians can rejoice in the Lord? It is our vocation. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. He's not forgotten about us. He's not forgotten about this country or his world. Don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, who is there but us Christians who can give thanks to the true God? Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. And then Paul, specifically in 1 Timothy, urges prayers for the emperor. Ironically, Nero, the very guy who ends up murdering him and St. Peter. First Timothy was written at Ephesus in the summer and fall of 56 AD during the reign of Nero from 54 to 68. Paul says, first of all then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions. And so we do so in the church, every week in the prayers of the church, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. I'm going to pray the litany for our nation. This prayer is included in our Lutheran hymnals. It was translated from Latin into German by Martin Luther, and it was already uh, probably a thousand years old, or at least 500 years old at the time of Luther. It's been prayed for centuries, and it is a prayer of repentance and a prayer for mercy upon the church, especially also on the nation and for all needs. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, have mercy. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us. Help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, 
from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit and Comforter. Lord, help us in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and turn their hearts, to give and preserve for us the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. We pray the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you forever. Amen.